All right, so I've already opened Visual Studio Code and I've created my index.html file in a folder on my desktop. Also inside I have an images folder which contains four demo images for this project. And also I have my CSS folder here and inside the CSS folder I've created a file called styles.css. Also in this project I will be using live reload which you can add to your Visual Studio Code from the extensions and then make sure you install live server and just click on this button here to get your server running I will go back to the first now let's start by editing the index.html file for this I will use the emit abbreviation functionality so I will type html and I will select the html5 now this is creating the html5 document for me and all I have to do is change the title link the style sheet here I can do is link CSS and my CSS file is under CSS and then styles.css. Also, we can do media screen and also we can add type as text.css. Uh, now that we've linked the style sheet, we can give it a test and I will start by writing the body. Let's say we can add a background color of uh, black and when I save and go back to the browser, the background is now black so everything seems to be working i will go back and remove this as we don't need it and let's continue by writing the html to simplify this tutorial i will use less classes and less html elements i will start by writing a section and inside this section i want to split the images into four or five columns or however many you would like in this case i will do four because i've only got four images and i will start by creating a div and inside the div i will add my first image the image source will be images and then image-1.jpg i will leave the old tag for now as we don't need it i will go ahead and copy this div and image four times one two three four let's now change the image name for each section or column so two three and four actually we don't need this one so i've added the four images and if i go back to the browser you will see that when i scroll down we have the four images. I will move the browser to the right side now and I will move my editor to the left and I will also hide the explorer here so you can see better and we can start by styling or project. So if you go to styles.css, let's first reset the margins. Then I want the body height to be the height of the window the browser so to do this you can put height and you can do 100 vh the next thing i need to do is style the section we need to display the section as flex And also I need to put the height to be again 100 VH. I need the max width to be set to 100 VW, which is the width of this window. So the full width of this window. So the next thing we need to style is the actual uh, columns, which are those divs. And to do this, I can do section div and start writing the CSS properties in here. So let's display this one as flex. I need each column to be to be set to flex one. And I will explain this in a second. Position to be uh, relative. And also I need um, I don't need this, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will do uh, justify content center. And also I can do align items 
center so basically i want everything inside the divs to be centered let's also change the overflow to be hidden now as you can see each div is set to flex one flex one means that each column is distributed uh, equally on the page because the images are so large i had to put overflow hidden the next thing we need to do is add nice transition effect which will be used when we hover over the images and to do this i will use a very simple transition here I'll do transition all 0 0.5 seconds and you can have it faster or slower and I will do easing out everything seems to be working well now I want to make one hover over each column I want the column to expand and to do this I can do section div I can do the hover property this is where we can add the flex grow and let's say flex grow to so when I put flex grow to that means the item that I hover over will be distributed twice as big as the other element and so on if i put four you will see that the div actually grows a lot more so it's four times the other element on the page i think four is a good number so i will show you in a second how it looks like the last thing i want to do i want to fit the images a little bit better because as you can see they are cropped so much that you can actually see what's going on in the image you can kind of tell that this is a cat but i want to basically fit the images in the containers a little bit better than they are now and to do this i can do section div image i want to add the width to be 100 percent the height needs to be set to 100 uh, vh which is the size of the actual window and the last thing i need to do is do object fit and i want to set the object fit to cover so as you can see now the images look a lot better they're distributed a lot better and if i go and open my browser for width you can see this nice zoom in effect and the transitions are working really well anyways i hope you like this tutorial if you have any questions please comment below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because i will be making a lot more videos like this and i publish videos like this every tuesday thank you very much for watching